payroll Giovanni since starting his solo career has made five mixtapes. But in this video, we're going to talk about just four. Because these four mixtapes, unbeknownst to his fans or even payroll himself, tell a story just by the way he titles them. So let's go deeper into the boss mentality of payroll Giovanni. Now, Get Money, Stay Humble was Payroll's first tape and was him basically laying the groundwork for his way to the top. Now, Payroll liked to compare himself to fictional characters in his favorite movies, like Mitch from Paid and Fool and Drug Dealers on his block, because like he said, those were his idols, his role models, the people he looked up to. Just like Ace when he first seen Mitch outside in that all-black Saab, a luxury car at that time. What's up, nigga? You feeling me, man? It's like a motherfucking spaceship, man. You got the, um... You feeling me yet, man? You got the gold BBSs on this motherfucker. For Ace, Mitch was a role model to him. Somebody he aspires to be like one day. And for Payroll, growing up, all the dope dealers and money getters he seen in his hood became his role models. People he wanted to be like or better than when it came to the type of game they were in. And after making his first 10, this is where stack season comes in. Now this is a tape where Payroll is really off on his own, because if you notice in his first tape he's still attached to his group name Doughboy's Cash Out, which is sort of like his plug, but now that he's established himself as a solo artist, he's able to go by his name alone following his second CD. Now every hustler is familiar with the stack season, but in Detroit this is a crucial time of the year for you to save up your money or re-up any losses you might have taken earlier in the year. Now stacking is the most important song on this tape because it outlines exactly what this city is about. Fuck these bitches, dog, I'm stacking, stacking. Fuck these niggas, dog, I'm stacking, I'm stacking. Fuck the club, cause I'm stacking. Fuck the club. Call the plug, tell them dog. In this song, payroll talks about staying away from the club scene, staying away from these females or partying, anything that could potentially be a distraction from him making his money. By this point, Payroll has started to love the dope game, love hustling, something that Mitch was all about as well. I love the game. I love the hustle, man. And this is where we get into his third tape, Sosa Dreams. Now, Sosa Dreams is where Payroll makes his plot to the top. Now, there's a scene in Scarface where Tony Montana talks about expanding his business and going bigger. Look, Frank. Time is gone. We gotta expand. Whole operation. These two paralleled each other in the sense that they both had dreams bigger than being the middleman. They wanted to be the plug and they wanted to be the one on top of everything. And this is where we got Payface. Payroll has finally reached the top, being that he made a mark with his group double his cash out. But now, as a solo artist, he's really made it on his own this time. This tape showcases Payroll's growth as an artist and his growth as a person as well, with each tape giving us the keys to learn and take notes on how to be a boss. But that's gonna wrap up this video, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow us on our Instagram at CM Culture to stay up to date with new posts and videos every day.